All right, Cody, I got your question. You asked how do you do the first problem, which I think is this number 22 on this page, um, without a scientific calculator. Um, it's really not that complicated. It just there's one key component, and that's the question indicates that you're in square feet and they want it in square yards. Uh, first off, you have to start off all these types of problems by setting them up uh, as they're designed. So the question says you have you can a lawn can be mowed at an average rate of 44 square feet per minute. What is the closest in square yards per second? So I'm starting out with 44 square feet per second. My goal is to get to square yard, or sorry, I'm in square feet per minute, my bad. I was reading it wrong. Square feet per minute. So 44 feet squared in one minute and then uh, I have to convert it to square yards per second. So the first thing that I'm going to do is convert those minutes to seconds. Now when you do this type of conversion, my suggestion is that you just use the conversion factor or in this case how many seconds are in a minute. Make like a little fraction or a ratio out of it and then let the units just determine what, or, uh, what way you're going to set up that fraction. So I know there's 60 seconds in a minute. That's one of those things they expect you to know, by the way. So I could write it as 60 seconds over one minute <coughs> to show that they're the same, or I can write them as one minute is the same as 60 seconds. Now the reality is, if I have minutes as my unit on the bottom and I want to get rid of it, I have to put minutes as a unit on top. In uh, previous videos, I've said stuff like, if you do 4 times 5 divided by 4, well 4 times 5 is 20 divided by 4 gives you 5, but if you had just eliminated the 4's on the top and the bottom by 4 div divided by 4 is 1, it would just leave the 5 anyway. So what we're going to try to do is take this minute and eliminate it by getting a minute up here in our next term in our little uh, ratio sequence. So I'm going to multiply here because when I do conversions I set up a bunch of ratios and multiply them together. Uh, I'm going to put the one with the minutes on top. So I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to write one minute over 60 seconds. That will get rid of this unit and get rid of this unit. Now I'm just left with the numbers that are attached to it and I can work with those. Don't try to make the numbers look right. Use the units to drive your decision making and then just let the numbers follow. So I'm going to erase all this stuff on the right side now that I've chosen my next step. The next issue is I need to go from square feet uh, to square yards. But I really can't do that in the same natural way that you would think that you'd be able to. Like if I go up to the um, formulas page here, I'll scroll down just a little bit to get to the formulas page, you can see that it will tell me that there are three feet in one yard. But it doesn't have anything about square numbers or cube numbers, uh, which is another thing that pops up a lot on these types of tests. But the reality is it's not that hard to figure it out. But all I'm going to use is the regular one-dimensional uh, conversion factor here. So it's either going to be three feet over one yard or one yard over three feet. Now. I have to make my decision based on where the feet are right now, and they're on top, so I'm going to choose the one that will put feet down here on the bottom. So I'm going to choose this one. So I've got three feet is the same as one yard. Now we're almost ready to roll with the problem and do the multiplying and that sort of thing, but the last thing that I need to do is be aware that it says square feet and yards. Now square feet means that it's two-dimensional because the lawn is not just a straight strip of grass, it's often they're assuming it's a square. Um, if it's three-dimensional, by the way, it would be a cube. This is the worst cube ever, but you get the idea. That would be to the third power. So what I'm about to do here, if the question said cu feet cubed, you'd do it to the third power. But when I need to convert feet and yards to the square, I just have to square the whole conversion factor. So I'm going to take this whole statement right here and just do it to the second power because it says squared. Now if it said cubed I would just take that part of it and cube it. You can't do the answer after you've already done it. You can't wait till then to square it. You can't do it at the beginning. You just have to square the conversion factor and then you'll get the answer that you're expecting to get. Now I meant to hit erase here and I'm going to show you what that actually does. <coughs> It's going to take this one yard and square it and it will become one yard square. So what it really does is take this, and I'm going to make room for the new answer here, and then I'll show you what each part does on the right side of the, uh, the paper. 
don't know why I deleted that and then wrote it, drew it back in. That didn't make any sense. So um, I've got my one yard, and it becomes one yard squared. The three feet, however, if I square that, uh, the units, of course, will become feet squared, which is exactly what I want it to be. And on the other hand, I have to do three to the second power, which in this case is three times three or nine. So the conversion factor changes a little bit from a one over three to a one over nine. And this is feet squared and yard squared. And like we said earlier, or I said earlier, if you've got feet on the bottom, or feet squared on the bottom and the top, it eliminates it. So you can see what's left over is just the units that we want. The only unit that we haven't marked out on the top would be yards squared and the only units on the bottom that we have left would be seconds. Now all I have to do is either set all these up as fractions or I can just multiply the tops uh, and then multiply the bottom. So the top would be 44 times 1 times 1 which would be 44 and the bottom would be 1 times 60 times 9. So 60 times 9, of course, is 540. So I'm going to divide 44 by 540, all of which you could do in just a two, a standard four-button calculator. So 44 divided by 540, and you get 0.081. So I can say that I have 0.08 yards squared per second. So that one works out in that fashion. It takes a little bit longer to do it without a scientific calculator, but not really that long. I should also say that if you're doing that kind of conversion and it was cubed, it would be 1 over 27 or that whole thing. So remember that if you have to make those conversions, you usually can do them. It just involves a little bit of extra handwriting and some multiplying and things. But when you have squared units or cubed units, make sure you do that to the entire conversion factor to get you to the correct answer that you look for, which of course in this one is G. So, good luck.